Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom right hand corner, we have Zazu starting as the gray Zerg. Bottom left hand corner, we got Aegis starting as return player, starting as the pink Zerg. And again, this is BSL 17, round of 32, group G this time. It is an all Zerg group. I think I have all the replays. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm just gonna cast because it is Zerg versus Zerg. I think the players accidentally played a best of three in the initial rounds. See, this is what happens with these replays. I get them. Uh, I, I am not often given the bracket to know what the initial rounds are, and I don't want to see the bracket because the bracket that's provided oftentimes contains spoilers. So I try not to view it. Uh, or at least I try to kind of do this cognitive thing where I look at it and don't keep it in my brain, if that makes any sense. Um, <laughs> from, by the way, Aegis USA Zerg, uh, I thought Zazu was a Polish. No lag. I, I, I believe he was a Polish Zerg, also known as Top Speed. I'm not familiar with his play. Overlord going top right, by the way. Aegis going to end up with the advantage with the Overlord going bottom right hand corner. Whenever you see chat like this, by the way, you have to think there's a little bit of mind game that happens with that overall, where it's like, okay, is this guy trying to cheese me? What's going on? That is causing an overpool from Aegis where he might have on a four player map gone for a different build. However, Aegis is going to have this huge advantage of the Overlord over his opponent's base. Zazu sending his second Overlord towards Aegis in recovery fashion. It looks like we are seeing a 12 pool, so or still, uh, sorry, an over, what happened here actually? This pool was much, much later. And there was an overlord in between. Was that a second overlord behind it? Mentally, my brain is fried a little bit. Aegis ending up with a, a few more minerals as well, although his gas coming much, much later overall. So it looks like he's gonna go pool into expansion rather pool in the gas and maybe go for a Zergling Flood overall. Zazu looks like he's gonna open up straight for lair. Sometimes when I'm talking, I lose track of the opening builds on my brain for whatever reason doesn't want to tell me what it is despite seeing infinite not infinite so many zvz games over time but go figure i'll let my brain rest a little bit it deserves it hatchery natural expansion spawning pool just about finished the spawning pool is actually in that nice position where i believe this speeds up so this shows some skill from zazu as well that should speed up the drone Oh, never mind. It was slightly off. So typically where it would provide faster gas, it looks like it didn't quite. And he is mining just 100? No, he's leaving one drone in gas. Interesting. So trying to play it both directions where he's keeping one drone in gas, but also just got, once he got 100 pulled off to go ahead and get Zergling speed, he also dropped that natural expansion. It looks like we have gas starting to go for Aegis as well. That means Aegis, if he decides to skip speed first, could go for a faster layer, and he is going to, in fact, opt for that decision here with the Overlord sitting over the natural expansion. He's also going to be able to spot the Zerglings and their count as they're incoming. So he sees that it is, in fact, six. He's already got six out in the field as well, but he needs to blockade his ramp, cleverly just leaving two on the low ground. So Zazu not really going to have an opportunity with this build in any way, shape, or form. Although getting nice spread on the initial engagement and the two Zerglings out of position. However, for some reason, I was expecting him to have a better play out of that. He will, he'll have the Zergling speed advantage, but expending those Zerglings means it's a somewhat for naught. And the Lair going to end up finishing earlier for Aegis. And Aegis, theoretically, with that win, should have a stronger economy. In the meantime, more Zerglings being produced from Zazu. The Overlord spotting... The Zergling count, you can see he's kind of folding back, so he knows precisely how many to build. He's also going to have the lair timing. So Aegis should have the perfect defense and should be able to sneak, theoretically, a drone or two. His his spawning pool speed coming up somewhat later. Zazu is going to be able to see, in fact, oh, that's going to end up being a sacrificial overlord as well. Zerglings trying to spread towards the front. Aegis losing control of a few of his Zerglings. It looks like he's now able to draw them back. The Spire coming down a little bit late, but it looks like he's trying to get in position to get there. Yeah, that's the way it's... No? Okay, it's for whatever reason, it's causing the drones to do a little bit of that tap around for some reason, where typically, wonder why that's being the case instead of the opposite. Usually it should provide a faster drone mining speed. Here it looks like it's working operationally. Weird. Wonder what was causing it just offside. But anyway, Spire about 15 seconds later. The Zerglings, as they're moved out, missing Zazu, pocketing four of them able to cycle around. Is this going to result in some drone kills? At the very least, it's resulting in some drones pulling off the line. That drone did, in fact, get dropped. Two drones down now, and Aegis at an, a massive economic deficit. Let's see if he can take out the hatchery in turn. He is going to be able to drop that hatchery, but he needs to get some follow-up damage as well. 
or he needs to win this fight to find some room to build some additional drones. And it looks like he is going to end up winning with the drones he's got on the ground. So should be able to march into the main to even potentially even things up. Five versus five now. Zazu, is he going to go after the Spire? What's he attacking? The drone's pulling off the line to defend themselves. Unfortunately, the Zergling's targeting the Zergling. So Zazu's going to end up with the better of this exchange overall. Some Zergling's trying to attack at that natural expansion it looks like did one get in the main it looks like there's some more disruption at the main so the spires finished a butalisk might end up in the air it looks like scourge ending up in the air for aegis he's still got a zergling in his two zerglings in his opponent's base but down supply and critically that supply is in the form of drones so it looks like he's going to spawn scourge to try to take out these overlords we saw this trick from urbmon as well some zergling spawning to go ahead and clear that out so one one overlord down that will with a supply cap on the second Overlord, will give an opportunity for Aegis to go ahead and equalize things a bit. The four Zerglings trying to sweep around. They're getting caught at a massive disadvantage. Going to try to recollect. And Aegis ending up just winning a lot of these fights on the ground. He needs to be careful. Oh, man. Zero supply for Zazu on the opposite side. So he's not going to be able to refill anything. He is getting a single Mutalisk in the field, though. Are we seeing any Mutalisk the opposite side? Aegis has the room, but doesn't quite have the economy. Also, six Zerglings midfield in the meantime, so a small air fleet advantage and two Overlords nearby that could create havoc. Mutalis actually, I'm not sure where it's going afield. The Zerglings got caught out of position again, so Zazu now making his way into the main might be able to get some additional drone kills. So he's basically in a, a positional advantage through much of this match by catching Aegis out of position through some clever play. Three versus three now on the ground, the Scourge looking for a target. The Mutalisk now wandering into the main. He needs to be careful because they are Scourge nearby to go ahead and engage him. But getting some shots down on the drones. Is he going to get some additional drone kills, however? The drones huddling up another drone down. Aegis somehow has one hit. It looks like that turning back around. The Overlord's trying to flood back. This is an insane match thus far. One hit, two hit. That's Mutalisk now being wiped out. We have some Scourge hanging out nearby, but they're not going after the Overlords. They're just parking, maybe waiting for a Mutalisk. A rebuild of that hatch with the natural expansion. Zazu now down a drone, but Zerglings going to have the advantage on the low ground. And it just feels like time and time again in this match, Zazu has been able to pull ahead because of some positional advantages. And this is going to force additional Zerglings. But if Aegis can hold on, he does have a stronger economy. He's had this natural expansion up longer, which theoretically means more larva that hatchery now taking some free damage so additional zerglings making their way out i don't know if uh, yeah the overlord's running to the north just to make sure that they're preserved big zergling battle now at the natural zazu again getting the better part of it it looks like he wants to work on that hatchery rather than worrying about the main the zerglings dying as they're spawning so it looks like he might be able to take that natural expansion up as that hatchery finishes so aegis with a two drone lead Gonna end up losing his natural expansion. This is one of the most back and forth ZVZs I think I've ever seen. Drones now pulling off the line towards the natural to fight with the Zerglings. So able to clear that out. There's four more making their way this direction. We have Scourge in large numbers hovering over that natural and the main. And it looks like finally Age is able to stabilize, but still more Zerglings incoming. It's four versus three, two versus one now, and two Zerglings remain. And I don't see any Zergling. Oh, sorry, three. Sorry, now just some Zerglings in production. So drones, once again, are going to be relegated to defending themselves. We have... Did we have... I'm looking for if there were some drones that made it in the opposite side base. It doesn't look like that's the case. Zazu somehow finding room to just pump out Zerglings. Aegis having trouble mining in the meantime. Additional Zerglings spawning, but more Zerglings now in his base. So despite having the three drone advantage, still having trouble, constantly having to pull drones to defend himself... And that's allowing Zazu, despite having an inferior economy, to pull ahead. Additional Zerglings now getting wiped out. Two Zerglings remaining. More Zerglings making their way across to reinforce this. And, but I gotta say, Aegis putting up a heroic defense. He just can't get any resources out. Finally has a good amount of Zerglings out in the field. Hasn't been mining this entire time. A third hatchery being dropped from Zazu now. At his natural expansion to try to keep this onslaught going. Another drone down. Aegis still two up. Now it's... Close to even. One Zergling lead for Aegis. Starting to stabilize on the Zergling count. Still hasn't been able to positionally take advantage, however. Okay, now additional Zerglings starting to flood through. He's still got the Scourge hanging out at the main. 
uh, looks like the Zergling's finally getting cleaned up, getting back to mining, and now Aegis one, okay, one drone up, but down a lot of larva. And Zazu using that opportunity to just create a flood of Zerglings, the Scourge running out, trying to find Overlords to wipe them out. It looks like at least one was taken out. They're pocketed, we know, in that top corner. Aegis desperate to find them to stop this, this constant Zergling flood. Another drone down, so the economy is now equalized, but because the Zerglings are constantly forcing, and now attacking Spawning Pool as well, because they're constantly forcing the drones off the fence, Aegis having trouble utilizing it another flood of zerglings making their way in so zazu doing a great job playing this from behind the zerglings still huddled in between a mutal is finally produced by aegis and is that going to be sufficient so three two zerglings left are the drones going to get wiped out a creep colony finally being built from aegis he's down to five drones however more zerglings making the way in it is now three versus seven for drones and keep in mind there's a massive massive drone advantage or sorry Larva advantage, so I don't know that these two mutals are going to be sufficient. Finally, a creep colony being built, but Aegis needs to preserve these two drones, otherwise he's going to be knocked out via pure production. Zazu now, zero drones left, no cancellation on the Sutton colony, so it's three mutalists to win it, and it's not going to happen. Zazu's done it. So the mutalists are able to clean that up. Scourge wiping out one mutalisk. Two Mutalisk and one remains, and Zazu now flooding forward with the economy. And fantastic play from Zazu to pull this one out. That is about as incredible as EVZ matches you're going to see. Constant positional advantage playing out for Zazu, able to pull it out last second. We'll see if they return in the final match or not. That was a great game, though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.